Okay, so our feet are first distance, we're up tall. Inhale, and exhale, chin to chest as you slowly roll down. Relaxing the arms, relaxing the head, inhale. And exhale, slowly curling up, tilting the pubic bone forward as you're curling up. And press shoulders back, inhale. And exhale, curling down, tightening belly button into the spine, pressing tailbone up towards the ceiling, hanging the head to eye line through the knees. Inhale. And exhale, curling up, tightening those abdominals. And shoulders back. Inhale. And exhale, curling down. Really reach tailbone to the ceiling. Try the legs straight to get into those hamstrings. Inhale. And exhale, slowly curl back. Last one, inhale. And exhale, curl down. Now I want you to bend the legs a little bit more. Hands either onto the ankles or onto the mat. Get your body and your head closer down and we're going to straighten both the legs and then inhale, we bend them. Exhale, we straighten for two and bend. Straighten for three and bend. Straighten for four and bend. Straighten for five and bend. Straighten for six and bend. Straighten for seven and bend. Now this time, just straighten the right leg. Nice stretch into the right leg. Hold it there. Make sure you're hanging your head. And then you're going to bend the right leg and you're going to straighten the left. Hold it. And then soften that left knee and then you slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. And then from here we're going to go into a calf raise. So calf raise, reaching the arms up and then slowly lower your heels and you're going to bend into those legs like you're sitting back onto a chair. And then you reach up for two and then slowly down. Make sure here you're not arching your back, so tuck your tailbone underneath you. And then we reach up, calf raise for three and then slowly come down. And we reach up for four, and we lower. And we come up for five, and lower. Watch those knees, keep them fist distance. And we reach up for six, and lower. And we reach up for seven, and lower. Last one up for eight and lower. Now we stay nice and low, making sure again that you're tilting pubic bone forward. You can bring your hands onto your hips, but make sure you're keeping shoulders down. We take just the right leg to the side for one, bring it back, two, three. So we're sitting back onto our chest, four, try to keep back up as tall as you can, five, six, deep in those abdominals, seven, and eight. So we still low, we change sides. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring feet and knees glued together. And we're going to sit a little bit more down and back. 
chair pose. Holding it, so we're still tilting pubic bone forward. Tuck those ribs in, deepen those abdominals. And then from here, you're gonna come up just a little, and then you're gonna sit back down again. Now, take arms out to the side, and coming down. And for three, and down. For four, and lower. For five, and lower. For six, and lower. Tighten those abdominals. Seven, lower. For eight, and lower. Now either keep your hands to the sides or hands on your hips, wherever you've got more balance. We calf raise for one. And down, stay nice and low. Two, and lower. Three, and lower. Four, and lower. Four, five. Tighten those abdominals. Four, six. Four, seven. Four, eight. Then lower just the right heel. We walk out with the feet. So we change one, change two, change three, change four, change five, change six, shoulders back, change seven, another set of eight, and we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower both heels, sit down a little bit more into your chair, keep tilting pubic bone forward, ribs tucked in, Belly button to the spine. See if you can sit down a little bit more. Try, get your chest up a little bit more. Pressing, shoulders down and back. Are those thighs working? And then you can come all the way up. And then you're gonna to come to your wall. So I want your feet a little bit away from the wall. If you can't, if you don't have a wall nearby, free wall, you're welcome to just stand up tall and press shoulders back, okay. But if you manage to have a free wall, you're gonna put your head onto the wall. But I want you to make sure your chin isn't lifted. So you lower your chin and you press back. So you should feel these muscles in front of your neck activate. Arms a little bit out to the side, press shoulders down. If you need to, you can scoot your feet a little bit further away. And then you're going to try and press your lower back into the wall. So soft knees. So as you do that, you must tighten your waist, tighten your belly button, as if you've got that corset around your waist that's getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And we're just going to hold it. So your main focus is trying to get your back onto the wall while you're tightening the torso. So everything is tight, tight, tight. It's almost like you zipping up from the middle. So everything here on the side is pressing to the middle to get tightened up. Keep holding. And then release it. Now from here, we're gonna go down into a chair squat. So you're gonna take your feet a little bit further away and you're gonna come down. I don't know if you can see if I do it on this side. I want you to make sure that there's a 90 degree angle here at your knee. So I don't want your feet too close to your body so that your knees are over your toes. That puts lots of strain on those knees, okay? So from there. If you're struggling to hold, you're welcome to come up and give yourself a little bit of a break. But if you can, you're holding, fist distance apart. Again, head into the wall, chin tucked, shoulders pressing into the wall, try to press back into the wall. Tightening those abdominals. Good work on those knees, I mean on those thighs. Try to keep holding. You're welcome to come out of it if you're really struggling. We are going to do three of these, so take a break when you need to. Okay, come up. Have a quick little rest. And 
And I'm going to go down again. Tilting pubic bone, belly button to the spine. Knees are fist distance apart, so are those feet. Try to press shoulders into the wall. Thighs should be burning. And then slowly up. We're just going to do one more. Okay, last time. Coming down 90 degrees. And if this is still putting you straight, you can come up a little bit higher so you don't have to be so low that those thighs are parallel to the mat or to the floor. Squeeze into those glutes a little bit. Tightening that torso. And then slowly coming up. Okay, from here, we're just going to do a little bit of a side bend. You're welcome to stay up against your wall. So try to keep shoulders pressing into the wall. As we inhale and side bend over to the right. So this top shoulder, press it back. And then exhale, we return. Inhale over to the other side. So this right oblique is what works hard to slowly return you. Inhale to the right. Exhale and return. Over to your left. And slowly return. One more on each side. Inhale over to the right. Exhale and return. And then last one over to the left. Exhale and return. Now you're going to step away from your wall. And I want your arms out to the side. Palms are facing forward. As I in, hips stay facing forward. We inhale. Exhale, we twist over to the right. And then inhale, we return to the center. We twist to the left. Imagine those hip bones are headlights, so then you stay facing forward. And slowly return. Over to the right. Looking back at that back hand. And slowly we return. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, return. One more on each side. Over to the right. And return. Last one, over to the left. And slowly return. And then relax the arms. And then you're going to come down onto your mat. And you're going to have your feet up on your wall or on your couch at a 90 degree angle. Your hands are down next to your sides. So this is so nice to get that lower spine nice and loose. So we're going to start off with little slow movements. So basically just a little tilt. Tightening those abdominals but we're not squeezing into our glutes. Okay, so we lengthen our arms, align towards your knees, we inhale, exhale, you're going to flatten the back onto the mat and lift your pubic bone. So just lift a tiny little bit if you can see that and then you're going to slowly release it, lengthening the spine, coming back into your neutral pelvis. So that's when you've got this little gap in the lower back and your two hip bones and your pubic bones in line and then we tilt. Really deepening those abdominals and we release. And we tilt. Press down with those arms and shoulders and release. And we tilt again last time and release. Now we're going to come all the way up. So we inhale. 
Exhale, we flatten the back onto the mat, tilting the pubic bone up as you slowly lift. So now come up just to where you're comfortable, keeping your heels on the wall. Inhale. And exhale, curling down from the top of the spine, one vertebra at a time. And then again we inhale. Exhale, scooping, belly button in, tightening that waist as you lift up. Inhale, and exhale, we lengthening down. Really concentrate on lowering one vertebra at a time. You want to loosen up that spine. Inhale, exhale, slowly lift. Tightening your corset, press down with those shoulders, opening up the chest, inhale, and exhale, slowly curl down. So if you don't have a wall, your feet can just be on the floor, normal pelvic curls, or you can even put your feet up on a little block, inhale, exhale, slowly up. Inhale. And exhale, slowly controlling it down, deepening those abdominals. We're going to do two more. Inhale, exhale, slowly up. Inhale, and exhale, slowly cooling down. Last one, inhale. Exhale up. Inhale. And exhale, lengthening down. Then we're going to do one at a time. So you're going to just take the right foot off the wall. You can have it straight up to the ceiling if you like, but just bend to spine. And so, so we concentrate now on that left leg. Left inner thigh is working to prevent that knee from falling out or from falling in. So that knee needs to stay in line with that hip bone. We inhale, exhale, scoop through the pelvis, lifting up. Inhale, and exhale, we control it down. We're going to do six on each leg. Inhale, exhale, scoop through the pelvis, tighten those abdominals as you lift. Shoulders pressing down, inhale, and exhale, slowly cool down. Inhale, exhale, slowly up. Inhale, and exhale, slowly down. Three more on the side. Inhale. Exhale, belly button to the spine as you lift. Inhale. And exhale, curling down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale up. That left leg, that hamstring and glute, maybe even that calf are working and curl down. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Inhale, and exhale, we control it down. And then we change sides. So float left leg off the wall. Inhale, exhale, scoot through the pelvis. We lift the hip up. Inhale, and exhale, slowly we curl it down. Inhale. Exhale, press down with those shoulders. If you're struggling with those shoulders rounding, you're welcome to turn your palms to face the ceiling. That helps a bit. Inhale. And exhale, we lengthening the spine down. Inhale. Exhale up. Deepen those abdominals. Inhale. And exhale, curling down. Three more here. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale. And exhale slowly down. Inhale, exhale, belly back into the spine as you control the hips up. And then we exhale and we control it down. Last one, inhale, exhale, left. Inhale, and exhale, we slowly curl down. And then you're going to place it back onto the wall. Make sure you sit at that 90 degree angle. I see I've shifted a little bit. So feet and knees are still first distance on the wall. Now all I want you to do is press your legs into the wall, the feet. Okay. So we tighten those abdominals. We inhale. Exhale. You press. And you release. And we press for two. And ready. So you should feel those quads, those hamstrings, glutes tighten. And we press three. And we release. And we press four, four. As you're doing that, we're also tightening those abdominals. And we release. And we press five. And we release. Hopefully you're not sliding away from your wall. And we press six. And release. Press for seven. And release. And then we press eight. And release. Now we're only going to press with the right leg. So we press right leg into the wall for one. And release. And now just that right leg is working. And we press right leg again, two. And release. We press again, three. And release. Press again, four. And release. Press for five. I hope those legs are working. And release. Press again, six. And release, deepen those abdominals. And we press for seven. And we release. Last one on this side for eight. And release. And then we change to so our left leg and we press for one. And release. You'll probably see that one side feels a lot different. And we press two. And we release it. Press for three. And we release. Press for four. And release. Press for five. And release. Press for six. And release. Press for seven. And release. Last one for eight. And release. Now circle the arms around, it's lace the fingers, hands go behind your head. Now from here, as you're coming up into your chest, I want you to press those legs into the wall. So we inhale. Exhale, up into your chest, up. press those legs, sink those abdominals, and then we inhale, we lower just a little, keep pressing those legs into the wall, and we exhale, left for one, inhale, to hover, exhale, up two, and lower, up three, elbows are wide, and lower, exhale, up four, and lower, up for five, and lower, make sure those toes are level with each other, up six, and lower, sink those abdominals, up seven, sliding ribs down to hip bones, and lower, up eight, hold it, pelvis stays dead still as we inhale, exhale, rotate upper body to the right, 
And inhale to the center. Keep pressing those legs into the wall. We exhale over to the left. Inhale, return. Sink those abdominals. Exhale to the right. Inhale and return. Shoulders are relaxed. Over to the left. And return. Over to the right. Inhale, return. Over to the left. And return. One more on each side. Over to the right. And return. Last one to the left. And return. Lower the head. Bring your hands down next to your sides. Give us needs a quick little rest. Okay. Lengthening the arms, pressing shoulders down. I want you to straighten your right leg up to the seat. Now from here, you're still going to press this left leg into the mat, or into the wall. Keeping those abs in, we're going to take this right leg, we open it out to the side without moving our body. Okay, so you really have to tighten your waist, activate that transverse abdominus, so that's a muscle that wraps around your body like a corset. And then you just take the leg out to the side. So that leg is the only thing moving. Left leg stays dead still, and then we slowly return. And I want you to flex those, that foot. And we open out for two, and then we exhale and return it deep in those abdominals. Turn your palms to face the ceiling. And we inhale, open out for three, pressing left leg into the wall, and slowly we return. And we open that leg out for four. Exhale and return. Open out for five. And return. Open out for six. And return. Open out for seven. And return, are you still pressing that left leg into the wall? Open eight, now we hold it there. Okay, now from here we do a slight bend and we straighten, flexing into that foot. We slightly bend and we press through the heel two and then we bend. We straighten, tightening that quad and we bend. And we extend for four. Inhale, we bend. We straighten five. And then we bend. We straighten six. And then you're going to return that leg up to the ceiling. And then from here, you're going to do a slight bend. And we straighten. Slight bend, pressing left leg into the wall still. And we straighten. Bend three. And straighten, all those legs working, bend four, and we straighten, two more for five, and straighten, last one, six, and we straighten, and just place that leg back onto the wall. Okay, other side, so we lift left leg up, we flex that foot, tighten those abdominals, and we press right leg into the wall and then we open left leg out to the side. And then we exhale and return it. And we open out for two. Make sure right leg stays still. And we return it. And we open for three, sinking those abdominals. And we return it. We open for four, and we return. Open for five, and we return. Use those abdominals to move the leg. For six, and we return. For seven, return. Don't forget about that right leg pressing into the wall. And for eight, hold it there. We're going to do a little bend and we straighten. Bend two and straighten. Three. As you straighten, think about pressing right leg a little bit more into the wall. Four, four. 
We straighten. Five. Straighten. Four, six. We straighten. We return that leg up to the ceiling. And again, slight bend. Press through the heel as you extend. For two. And press. Three. Press. For four. Press. For five. Press. Last one for six. And we press. And we place that leg, the foot back into the wall. Okay. Reaching your arms up behind. So lift the arms just off the mat, palms facing each other, ribs are pressing down. Press those legs into the wall. We inhale, take the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, lengthen up into a chest lift, arms hovering above the floor. Inhale. And exhale, we return. Ribs stay pressing into the mat. Inhale, arms move for two, sinking that belly button. Exhale, we lengthen up. Press, make sure toes are in line. Inhale. Exhale, we return. Inhale, arms move for three. Exhale, we lengthen up. Inhale. Exhale, we return. Keeping that belly button into your spine. Inhale, arms move for four. Exhale, up. pressing those legs into the wall. Inhale. Exhale, we return. Inhale, arms move for five. Exhale, up. sink those abdominals. Inhale. Exhale, we return. Inhale, arms move for six. Exhale up. Now we hold it here. Abs are in. Shoulders out of our ears. We pulse just the arms. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Two, three. Four, exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, sink those abdominals a little more. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last, inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Circle the arms around and place the fingers. Hands come behind your head. And you can quickly lower the, knee, the head down. We're going to bring the right leg up to the ceiling. This time you can point that foot. We inhale. Exhale, coming up into a chest lift. So we're going to keep our chest lift. So try lift a little higher to get those shoulder blades off the mat. Sink those abdominals. You're going to inhale, tap onto the wall. And we're going to exhale, return it. We tap two. And we return. Tap three. Return. Elbows are wide, shoulders out of your ears. For four. Return. Tap five. Return. Pressing left leg into the wall. For six. Return. For seven. Return. For eight. Return. Lower the head. Bend that leg. Place it back onto the wall. And then left leg goes. Point to the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, lengthen up into chest lift. Abs are in, we hold it. We inhale, tap down one. And we exhale, return. We tap down two. And return. Deepening those abdominals, tap three. Return, pressing right leg into the wall. And we tap four. We return. Tap five, we return. Tap for six, and we return. Tap seven, return. Last one for eight, and return. Lower the body and placing that leg down. Bringing your hands again next to your sides, feet and knees, fist distance. Inhale. 
Exhale, we're going to scoop through the pelvis, lifting the hips up. So up is um, to where it's comfortable for you. Just keep that height of your hips. So wherever they are now is where you're going to keep them. Sink those abdominals. So give your left glute, left hamstring, left inner thigh, an extra squeeze, and bring your right leg up, straight into the ceiling, point that foot. We're going to inhale, tap to the wall, and then you're going to flex and return. Try and get it closer to your body, get a nice hamstring stretch. And we inhale, tap three, and we return. Inhale, tap four. Exhale, we flex. Point five, and we flex. Point six, and we flex. Four, seven, we flex. Four, eight. We flex, hold little pulses. We lower, we press up one, lower, press up two. That left hamstring's working, three, up four, five, six, four, seven, last one, four, eight. And you just place that foot down onto the wall. Hips stay up. So this time, right glute, right hamstring, right inner thigh, extra squeeze as you float left leg. Straight into the ceiling, point that foot, we inhale, tap, and exhale, we flex. We inhale, point and tap, and we flex. Point and tap, three, and we flex. Tap, four, and flex. Tap, five, Flex, is that glute and hamstring working on the right side? Seven, flex, four, eight. Flex, hold little pulses, we lower, press up one, lower, press two, shoulders pressing into the mat, press up three, up four, five, six, seven, and eight, bend that leg, place it onto the wall, inhale, and exhale, we lengthen the spine down. Okay, from here, we're going to come up into a chest lift, place your hands onto your knees, bring your knees in, a little bit closer than you normally do, so almost like you're giving yourself a squeeze. Then, we inhale, straighten the arms back, don't lower the chest, Tap the wall, circle the arms around and we hug. Inhale, we straighten two. Exhale, we hug. Inhale, straighten three. And exhale, return. Four, four. And return. Inhale, five. Exhale, circle around. Four, six. We circle around. Four, seven. Circle round, last one for eight. And circle round and quickly lower the head. We're going to do single leg changes with a flex foot. And you're going to press into the wall as hard as you can. Okay. If not, just into the air like we normally do. Okay, you can circle the arms around and place the fingers, hands behind the head. We come up into our chest foot. See those abdominals, we press right leg into the wall. Keeping chest up high, we inhale. Exhale, we change one. We're gonna do it a little bit slower so you can really press into that wall. And we change two. And we change three. Change four. Change five. Exhale, we change six. We change seven. We change it. Now you're going to rotate to the leg that's up or bent. So we inhale. Exhale, we change one. Exhale, we change two. We change three. Exhale, change four. Sink those abdominals. We change five. We change six. We change seven. And last one for eight. Return to the center and just give yourself a little squeeze. 
And then we're going to do a roll up. If you can't do, or oh, actually it's more like a teaser. If you can't, you just come to where you can. But you're going to need to scoot down a little bit because if you're too close to the wall, it's going to be really hard to come up. Okay, so feet are on the wall. <clears throat> Reach your arms up behind. Inhale, arms move to the ceiling. Use your abdominals, use your breath to exhale up. So adjust yourself if you haven't managed to come up this time. And then we inhale and exhale. We curl ourselves down one vertebra at a time. Inhale, arms move to the ceiling for two. Belly button into your spine and then you exhale up. Yeah, at the top, I don't want you rounded. Chase through the arms, arms and legs parallel. Inhale. And exhale, we slowly curl down. Inhale, arms move three. Exhale up. Inhale. Exhale, curl down. We'll just do three more. Inhale, arms move for four. Exhale up. Inhale. And exhale, slowly down. Inhale, arms move five. Tighten those abdominals. Tighten your waist. And exhale up. Inhale. And exhale, slowly down. Last one, inhale, arms move, and exhale up. Now from here, chase through the arms, arms left one, and then lower. Press up two, feel those back muscles working. For three, for four, for five, Four, six, four, seven, last one, four, eight, and then grab your legs, try fold forward. Try to get the head onto those knees. And then you can take the legs down. If you need a little water break, we can have a water break. Whilst we're going to come up onto the wall. Um, I'm going to face this way to show you guys. So the front leg is going to be out to the side like that. Okay. So we're going to do a nice quad stretch. So what I want, you're going to take <coughs> the right knee. Bring it not against the wall, but quite close, just so that you're <coughs> feeling comfortable. Then your left leg, you're going to bring it up. So left leg. Take it to the side at about a 45 degree angle. And then I want you to take your pubic bone, you tilt it forward, and then you get a nice stretch into this part. Hold it. Okay, you really need to keep tilting forward because if you're sticking your bum back, you're not going to feel it. So tilting forward. Okay, and we just hold and breathe. This is one of my favorite quad stretches. Really works. If your knee doesn't like this one, then the knee that you're resting on, you're welcome to just do the normal standing quad stretch. We grab it. Okay, we're gonna bring your hands down and we're gonna change legs. And coming up. Salting pubic bone forward, right leg out to the side. With the right leg out to the side, you're not turning your body to the side. Your body and your hips are still facing forward. And you're just really tilting that pubic bone forward. Shoulders down and back. Breathe. And 
and then we're going to come down and then we're going to lie on our sides. Your feet are going to be just touching the wall. If you're not near your wall anymore, it's fine. You can just do it without the wall. Okay, so I'm going to do my one side with the wall and then the other side without. Okay, so I want you so that when you slide your feet up, your toes keep touching onto the wall. Okay. So abs are in, you're gonna lift your waist a little bit so that there's a little space between your body and the mat, just to activate that oblique at the bottom. Keeping belly button in, bring your hand to the front so that's just in line with the belly button. And we're gonna lift both the legs up, and then we slide them down. Try to keep your heels together. We slide up two, and we lower. Slide up three, but without pressing down here. You still want to have that little space. And we lower. Sliding up four. And we lower. Slide up five, our shoulders are relaxed. And lower. Slide up six. And we lower. Sliding up seven. And lower. Sliding up eight, now hold it there. Slide just the bottom leg and slide it back. Slide it down two and bring it up. Slide it down three and up. Slide it down four and left. Slide it down five, left. Slide it down six and left. Slide it down seven. Left, slide it down eight, and left. See if you can lift both up a little bit more. Now, keeping the legs there, we lift upper body and we press up one and low, belly button to the spine. Lift up two. You're using this oblique, not your arm, to lift you up. And we lift three and we lower. Lift up four and we lower. Up five. And we lower. Lengthen up six. And we lower. Up seven. Lower. Last one for eight. And we lower. Slide the legs down. And then over to the other side. Okay. So as I said, I'm going to do this side without the wall just so that I can stay facing you guys. Okay, abs are in. Lift so that there's a little gap between your body and your mat. And we inhale and we exhale. Slide up and down. Slide up two. Track your heels together and lower. Sliding up three. Keeping that space and lower. Sliding up four and we lower. Sliding up five. And we lower. Slide up six. And we lower. Slide up seven. We lower. Slide up eight. Now keep that top leg there. Slide the bottom. And slide it back up. Slide it down two. And bring it up. Slide down three. Bring it up. Tighten those abdominals. Slide down four. And lower. Down five, left, four, six, left, four, seven, left, four, eight, left. Hold the legs up. We lift the upper body for one. And lower. Belly button to your spine as you lift up two. And lower. Lengthen up three. And lower. Up four. And lower. Up for five. And lower. Reaching up six. And lower. Up seven. Lower. Last one for eight. And all the way down. And then I want you to sit up against your wall. Okay. So I want your bum as close to the wall as you can get it. And then head on the wall, flex your feet, arms in front. So we're going to try to curl 
one vertebra at a time uh, um, off the wall and back onto the wall. So we inhale. Exhale, chin to your chest as you peel yourself slowly off the wall and then you reach forward. Arms stay parallel to the floor. Relax your head. Inhale and exhale, slowly pressing one vertebra back onto the wall as a, at a time. Keep shoulders under your hips. Inhale. Exhale, we curl forward. Inhale. And exhale, slowly curling up. Deepening those abdominals. Inhale. And exhale, we reaching forward. Try and lengthen through the crown of your head, keeping shoulder blades out your ears. Inhale. And exhale, slowly restacking the spine, pressing each vertebra into the wall. Inhale. Exhale, curling forward. You should feel those abdominals are working and those back muscles are working. And now we are stretching hamstrings, maybe even calves, maybe even back and neck. Inhale, exhale, slowly restacking the spine. Inhale, exhale, reaching forward, really deepen that belly button into the spine. Inhale, and exhale, slowly curling up. Inhale, exhale, we're reaching forward. Inhale and exhale slowly up. Now from here, we are sitting up tall, tall, tall. Our belly buttons are in. We're going to reach both arms up. Try to get the thumbs to touch the wall. And then you lower. Shoulders stay out of your ears. If you're struggling, open arms wide and we press up. Two. And And we reach up. Three. And lower. Tighten those abdominals. We reach up four. And we reach up for five. And we lower. Four, six. And we lower. Raise up seven. Are those back muscles working? And lower. Four, eight. Now lower just the right arm. We inhale. Exhale. We change for one. We change two, tighten abdominals. We change three. We change four. We change five. We change six. We change seven. We change eight. Now we add the leg. So we're going to lift, if the left arm is up, lift right leg. We inhale, exhale, we change one. And we change two. We change three, we change four, we change five, we change six, we change seven, last one for eight, and lower them down. One more. I want you to take your arms to rugby posts. So our backs are still pressing up against the wall, our feet are still flexed. If you're really struggling here, so, sorry, I should have told you this earlier, you can bend those legs a little bit. Okay, so press shoulders into the wall. You're going to lower as far as you can without arching the shoulders forward. Okay, so if it's a tiny movement, that's fine, just to go to where your body allows. Back pressing down, abs are in, and we return. And we lower for two. And so those elbows are in line with the shoulders. Okay, so they're not low. And we're down three. And we return. And down four. Tighten those abdominals. And we return. And down five. And we return. Four, six. Return of those shoulders working. Four, seven. Are those backs working? And those abs are working too to keep your back pressing into the wall. And we release it. OK, 
Okay, today we're going to end class with legs up on the wall pose. So you're just going to lie with your bum closer to the wall. And you're just going to rest your legs up on the wall. Hands down next to your sides, a little bit away from the body with your palms facing. So you're just going to hold it and breathe. Nice deep breaths in and out. However your body wants to breathe, whether it's in through the nose, out through the mouth, or both in and out through the nose, whichever feels right for your body. This is a really nice pose to do at the end of the day, especially if you've been standing a lot all day. It just helps get all that deoxygenated blood that I, that's cooled at your feet to make its way back up to the, to the heart and the lungs. So you're trying here to just relax everything from the tips of the toes and relax the ankles, the calves, the knee joints, the quads, the hamstrings, the hips, the torso, the arms, the shoulders, the neck, the jaw, the muscles in the face, the space between the eyebrows, the crown of your head. And then when you feel ready, that's our session for today. Thank you for joining.